really didn't realize that people didn't get a go because they didn't have a dress and uh, that there were that many underprivileged or people who couldn't afford to go or people that really just couldn't make it. My daughter had asked if I would do the ninth grade formal and I told her that I would do the ninth grade formal and uh, went in to talk to um, the principal about doing it and selling tickets at the school and he said that they had had problems in the past and it was really a controversial thing as rather we should do a formal because um, a lot of girls couldn't afford dresses and it really it was really a sad thing and so I thought well and I told him we'll sell some extra tickets and help some of these girls get a dress and then I realized how many girls couldn't afford a dress <laughs> and I was like oh this is more than just a little bit of extra ticket sale money that we'll need and um, and it just kind of fell into place from there we had um, several girls come in that were just elated because they wouldn't have gone to either formal or prom or a special occasion if they hadn't been able to get a free dress and so for them it meant a lot to get a free dress. It was it was exciting and there was a lot of girls that cried and we cried with the girls and it was just a lot of fun. The one that sticks out the most to me is um, one girl who said for generations no one in her family had gone to prom. And she came to my house so excited and she um, had a little girl and she brought her in and she's like oh she said I I'm so excited about going to the dance and you know um, she didn't care about who was going to do her hair we'd given out pretty much all the hair that we could do and I had called around and got others to participate and so um, it was kind of like the grand finale but I did her hair and <laughs> she looked beautiful but um oh I can't cry during this but anyway she came in and we did her hair we did her makeup and we babysat for her so she could go and we took the baby with us and uh, we were standing at the end where she came out so that we could see her and her sister was standing there and she was just crying <laughs> her sister was and she was just so thankful that they got the dress and and her hair done and it was just really really fun to see I think that was kind of like the grand finale we would go places and people would see us and they would say oh we've got dresses for you I'd go to the bank and she'd say I seen your ad in the newspaper <laughs> I've got a couple dresses for you and people just really stepped up. It was interesting to see how many people really can come together and help. We got more out of it, I think, than the girls got out of it, actually. Just being able to see so many people come together and, uh, and provide for people that couldn't otherwise have had it. It's very rewarding, and, um, I, and I really truly feel like the ones that participated in giving are the ones who got the most. One of the things that really stands out to me is how Gillette has just stepped up to the game and to actually see the outpouring of people's generosity in the community was just amazing. I just can't even tell you how amazing it was. We didn't expect to get as many dresses and we were worried that we wouldn't have enough dresses to provide and we started worrying about my goodness we've got so many dresses what will we do with all the dresses and um, I was just I, this is really should be about Gillette and them stepping up to help people out